less than 9% were problems. In these types of problems, we're going to be using graphs or tables or charts in order to solve them. Um, I'm going to show you two different kinds of charts depending on the type of problem that you're doing, um, and then we'll work on some examples. All right, but in percent prob work problems, if we're finding percent of a whole, this is the chart that we're going to use. All right, we're always going to have a percent column, and we're always going to have an actual column. And we are always going to have a total. All right? Total percent is always going to be 100. And then we fill in as the information is given to us. All right? When we're finding percent of a whole, we're normally comparing two things. All right? So we're going to we're going to call our two things. I'm going to call them x and y for this example, but we can label them according to what we're comparing. We'll take a look at that. And example one, but this is any time we're finding percent of a whole. All right, we've always got two columns, a percent, and an actual, and then we always have a total um, along with the two things that we're comparing. And the rest of the information can be filled in as provided. Other types of problems is when we have a percent increase or a percent decrease. We're also going to be using a chart or a box for these. Again, we still have our two columns. We have a percent, and we have an actual. But instead of comparing two things and having a total, we're going to have an original. We're going to have a change. And we're going to have a new. Now, the new is always going to be plus or minus the change. All right, so if it's an increase, then it's original plus the change equals new. Or if it's a decrease, it's going to be original minus the change equals the new. Okay, and then you fill in the information as it is given. Once the uh, once we've got our our charts drawn, all right, we want to go ahead and fill in the information. So let's go ahead and talk about steps for solving these problems. Now that you know what the two charts look like, step one is to of course draw the chart. Step two is going to be fill in the given information. All right, so we draw our chart, we fill in the given information. And step three, in order to use the given information, we want to cross out information that does not apply. And then we would solve just like we saw the proportion. Cross, multiply, and divide. All right, so those are the four steps in solving. Percent word problems you've already seen what the chart looks like. Let's go ahead now and work through um, a few examples. Go ahead and get your example sheet. We're going to look at example number one. All right, example one says the wood nips and the main frolicked and gambled before the banquet began. If 70% of those present were wood nips and 120 maids were present, how many wood nips came to the banquet? All right, the very first thing that we want to do in solving is to go ahead and draw our graph or draw our table. Okay? So, in this thing, we're comparing. We're comparing wood nymphs and maids. All right, so we are going to have a percent column. We're going to have an actual column. We're going to put the two things that we're comparing. All right, I'm going to call them wood nymphs and maids. And then we've got a total. And remember, our total percent is always 100. Okay, so we've drawn our chart. We've called our two things that were being compared. The second step, we want to fill in information. All right, so let's look and see what information that we've been given in order to fill it in. 70% present for wood nymphs. All right, so wood nymphs is 70%. Now, if the wood nymphs is 70% and my total percent is always 100, then that means maids is 30%. Okay, so now we've got all of our percent column filled in. 
we know that 120 maids were present. Okay, so we can put that in our actual number. That's 120 20 maids. Now, what are we looking for? The question asks, how many woodnets came to the banquet? So we're looking for the actual number of woodnets, which means, according to step three, we can go ahead and cross out the total information because it's no longer needed. All right, then in order to solve, we're going to cross multiply. We're going to do 70 times 120, and that's going to be equal to 30 times x. All right, and then we're just going to multiply through and solve, all right? So 120 times 70. Could be 8,400 equals 30. And then if we divide through x, it's going to equal 280. All right, so we have 280 woodmans. And that's the final answer. All right, so that is... Um, a percent word problem where we're comparing two things in percentages. Let's take a look at number two. All right, in number two, it says the harvest was cornucopian as it was 120% greater than last year. If the yield was 140,800 bushels, how many bushels were harvested last year? All right, this is a problem where we've got either an increase or a decrease. Okay, it says percent greater than last year. So we're dealing with an increase or a decrease, which means when we draw our table, we're still going to have a percent column, and we're still going to have an actual column, but instead now we're doing the original change and new. All right, and since this is an increase greater than, we're going to do original plus change equals new. All right, original percent is always going to be 100. I don't think I mentioned that before, but original percent is always 100. So now we've made out our chart, we can go ahead and fill in other given information. All right, so as we read and fill in information, the harvest was cornucopian as it was 120% greater than last year. So our change is that it increased 120%, which means that our new percent then is going to be 220. The yield was 140,800 bushels. How many bushels were harvested last year? So it gave us the new yield. 140,800. We want to know what was the yield last year, so we're looking for the original, which means that our change is no longer needed, and we can solve. All right, we're going to solve by cross multiplying and dividing, so we're going to do 140,800 times 100, and that's equal to 220 times x. All right, when we multiply out, we're going to get 14,080,000 is equal to 220x. And then to solve, we divide by 220. And the original yield is going to be 64,000 bushels. Okay, so that's how we would solve an increase or a decrease percent word problem. Number three, um, I'm going to have you go ahead and do on your own, on your example sheet. So go ahead and try number three. Uh, Follow those steps, make sure you're drawing your diagram and filling in the information, and we'll check it when we come back into class.